Hey guys, I am here today to do a main attraction super video, kind of. It's really to talk about four different main attraction colors, but I am going to show you three different main attraction Broadway wigs because I have four colors, three are in Broadway, and one is in Hollywood. So if you're interested in learning more about main attraction colors, please keep watching because I think you'll find this really interesting. So right now what I have on is Broadway in the color Nutmeg. And Broadway was the first, this was the first Broadway I had gotten. My first main attraction was actually Hollywood. And I will show you Hollywood. Um, but this was the first Broadway I had gotten. And I cannot tell you how over the moon I am about this wig because of her curls. The color too, but look at these just beautiful curls. They are just gorgeous. If you like curls, oh, just love this one. It's so pretty. Um, I was a little uncertain because of the bangs and because it's a little straighter in the front, but I just think it works on this. It's just so cute and um, I can't get over the curls. I'm sorry about the banging in the background, but when we do laundry, our pipes bang when the washer is filling. It's really odd. So anyway, that's what you're hearing. Um, I do have a video on this one all by herself, so if you're interested in Broadway in a more thorough video, then you can certainly look at that one, but I am going to just do a color comparison here, but in, you know, in the process of doing that color comparison, you're also going to get a three Broadway comparison, and you'll be able to see how they look slightly different. Uh, the other two that I have I've never worn. I've just recently received them. I found a seller on eBay who um, is, I don't know if it's a wig store or what they are, but I purchased my other two. Um, actually, I purchased all three of these from the same seller separately, and they accepted some of my best offers. I think I got one for $75. So, uh, eBay can be your friend. Um, but anyway, so this one is Nutmeg. So the color Nutmeg is uh, on uh, what Main Attraction describes it, is a medium brown with gold blonde, strawberry, and auburn highlights. So this one is a medium brown. And then there's these gold, blonde, strawberry, and auburn highlights running through. And I know these videos can't really capture that real well. I would say as I look in my screen and I look in the mirror behind, they look pretty similar. Um, the strawberry and auburn is not super pronounced. It's just swirled in there so well. Um, so it's a warm, very warm, very dynamic, kind of golden color. Um, it's not super shiny. It's a little shiny, but gosh, I think it's healthy hair shiny as opposed to wig shiny. And because of all of the dynamic waves and texture, and then you you roll in multiple highlight shades, and that's what you get. You know, you get a lot of dynamic color. It's just. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm, I'm so in love with this wig, which is what prompted me to get two more. So nutmeg. Let's take and go from nutmeg to the darkest extreme, which is praline. So I just got praline maybe two days ago. So I've tried it on and I have hung her upside down. That's all I've done. I have not put any product in her and I've not sprayed any water on her. So this is pretty much out of the box. And she is way wild, way wild, way bigger hair than my nutmeg. But I know that will calm down, especially after I get some water on her and I do some scrunching. But she is still so cute. So what do you think of praline? Dark, very dark. So praline is a dark brown with golden blonde highlights. And those golden blonde highlights are really extreme. You can see they're out there. There's nothing blended about this one. It's dark with very blonde highlights.
Make sure the color is not messing with us here. So, <laughs> really dark. I do like it though. I am gravitating away from the darker hair colors. I've said that in a number of videos. Uh, you know, I started off very, very dark hair and I've gradually gotten lighter, gradually gotten more dynamic. And so I am gravitating away from this color, but I think I'll wear it in the winter. I do, I'm so I'm gonna keep her and try her out in the winter. We'll see how I feel about dark colors then. Um, but if you are someone who loves dark brunettes and also loves very prominent highlights, if you like just this dynamic, um, in your face like yep i went to a salon and i paid good money to get my hair looking like this then you, you might love this one so i would say if you are um, typically a medium brown and you don't like to delve into some of the darker colors praline is going to be too dark for you she is very very dark but again hollywood is just so sorry broadway is just so cute and comfortable and I love the curls I love the fullness the bangs really for the most part behave they're too long to be full-on bangs so if you wanted a full bang you could definitely do a full bang but you would have to do some trimming um, but when I wore my other one I just sweep them to the side and they really they they stay there they're it's really great um to me this is as close to a shake and go as you can get without it being fully shake and go. Cause I do think she could use a little product just to keep her from frizzing um, and just a little scrunching. But otherwise I think she looks so cute. I mean, this is out of the box. Um, for me, that's really rare. So that's praline. Now let's go from the darkest to very light. So this one is pecan. And I need to stay away from the pecan colors from now on because they're just too light for me. I have pecan, honey pecan and a Gabor wig. Uh, and um, I like it, but it's it's blonde. And so this one isn't a whole lot different than that as far as being blonde. So pecan, again, this one's out of the box. I've done nothing to her, but I shook her out a little bit and I hung her upside down overnight, but I have not put any water in. I've not put any product in. This is as it came. And so this one, Pecan, is a light ash brown with gold blonde highlights. So this one is definitely more on the ashy side. You know, it's got the gold blonde highlights, which gives it a little bit more warmth and depth, but I would say it's still leaning ash. So if you don't like ashy colors, this might feel too ashy for you. Um, it doesn't have any rooting. So it's, you know, that's a struggle for me. Uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one because it is so light for me, but we'll see. I have a hard time parting with wigs. I have a lot I need to sell and I just have such a hard time parting with them. So this one to me isn't as good out of the box as either of my other two. Um, this, the curl definitely needs some help some water, some scrunching, you know, this top part I'm struggling with a little bit. You know, uh, this is a basic cap wig, so it doesn't have any lace on the front. It doesn't have any monofilament and there is permatease up here. So it's gonna take some, you know, playing. You're gonna have to separate these fibers. A great way to do that, and I do show this in a video, is to just kind of get a wide tooth comb in there and just pick through at the part line where the fibers want to congregate and that will help really disguise any visible permities that you might be able to see. I don't comb through my curly wigs. I may take a, a little bit like to tame, but I don't comb through them because I like to maintain the inte integrity of the curl. So this one to me is going to need a little bit of TLC. Get the color to come back for us. It's just going to need a little TLC. I think the potential is there. She seems a little bit straighter for longer on this one, um, but that's praline. So now I'm gonna show you the final color, which is latte, and latte I have in Hollywood. So these have been Broadway. Hollywood is a lot longer. Hollywood has a lace front, but no monofilament. Hollywood also has more permatease. So Broadway does have permatease, but Broadway is light on the permatease. 
really not um, overdone up here. It's kind of appropriate. Whereas Hollywood, while I love Hollywood, um, definitely has a lot more poof, a lot more permatease. I mean, I can really feel the bump of permatease here where I really couldn't on Broadway. And so that's taken some getting used to. I love the lace front though. So this is the color Latte. And Latte is um, described as chocolate brown with caramel highlights. So this one is really blended. So there are highlights in here but they're very blended, you know, whereas you've got the praline, the highlights are just so pronounced. In this one, they're not. They, you can definitely pick them out here and there, but for the most part, they're blended. And I actually do dispute the description a little bit of this being a chocolate brown, because I picture a chocolate brown as being a warm color. My Ellen Villa Girl Mono, my first one I got was chocolate brown, it was not chocolate brown, it was um, chocolate rooted. And it's a very warm brown, whereas this is really ashy. So again, these descriptions can be deceptive. And so while it says it's a chocolate brown, I would not describe this as a chocolate brown. I would describe it as a medium dark brown, a medium ashy, a dark ashy brown with some gold blonde highlights. That's how I would describe it. So if you're looking for a ch warm chocolatey color, this one isn't gonna be that color for you. It's a very pretty color. And in my other video um, that I did on Hollywood, I have a full review on Hollywood, I did give a comparison of this, with this color to John Renault Hot Cocoa. Um, and that color is very similar. I would consider these nearly interchangeable. And so, and that's described as more of an ashy brown. So take with it what you will. But so this is Latte. And again, so different shades, you know, you've got your Praline, which is very, very dark. And again, you can even see the warmth. This brown is definitely less warm than this brown. So you can just see that right, right off the bat. You've got your nutmeg. And when you compare it to this color, I think you can really pick out kind of the auburn tones. It just leans a little more auburn and a little warmer. And then you've got your ash in the pecan. And that's a lot ashier and lighter. Pecan, you know, while it says light ash brown with gold blonde highlights, as a brunette, I wouldn't consider this a brown. I would consider it a dark blonde. And that's what has tripped me up in other wig purchases is when something says it's got brown in it, maybe the base color is like a light brown or light ash brown. It tends to look blonde to me. And so I had that trouble with I have Finn in uh, 1226, there's letters before it, I can't remember what they are, maybe it's 1226CH, uh, and that's a blonde to me, even though in some descriptions you see it's, it's called a light brown with blonde. I don't see the brown, I see the blonde. So I hope this was helpful. I am going to try to run outside really quickly with these three and film um, the, them in outside light. I'm not sure how well that'll work. It's pretty overcast right now and I'm gonna see if I can enlist a, a kid in the house to help me with that. If you have questions about these colors though, please let me know. I hope this was helpful in my impressions. I hope they were helpful. Um, you know, as a brunette wig wearer, there aren't a lot of, they're mo getting more brunette reviews out there, but there aren't a ton of brunette reviews. And even more so, there aren't a lot of brunette reviews that delve into the blonder colors and then kind of talk about those impressions or talk about those struggles. And that's kind of what I'm attempting to do because I've gotten really adventurous in colors and I've had some disappointments. And I would say my disappointments have come more on the side of the wigs that are too blonde that maybe were billed in some way as being a great transition from a brunette to a blonde or have some brunette in them, and, but they just look too blonde to my eye. And so that's what I'm trying to help with. This, that's what happened with this one. And so hopefully that's helpful. I would say nutmeg to me is a great brunette blonde kind of auburn uh, transition wig because it does have so much dynamic color and she does, um, 
it's blended fairly well. And so you can see the brunette tones and those kinds of things in this one. Um, I will tell you though, I, I wouldn't have been able to wear this one six months ago because I still wasn't comfortable enough with going, you know, out there like this and with so much going on, I just wasn't used to it. I was so used to just being a, a box color number four or two, you know, so it's a huge leap to make. But if you're starting to get more comfortable and you've worn some wigs with highlighting and you've worn some auburn wigs and you think you can do it, the nutmeg color could be a, it's a, it's bold, but it's not ridiculous. And it definitely has the brunette in it so that you can feel like it's still a brunette. It's just a summer brunette. You know what I mean? All right. So let me pause this and see if I can get outside with these and give you one look outside. Okay, guys, here's an outside view of the four colors from lightest to darkest. So on the left, I think it'll be on your left. I'm not sure. So the lightest <laughs> is the pecan color. Then we've got nutmeg. Then we've got latte. Then we've got praline. So let's go over here. I had to stand on a stool to get high enough up. Let's go over here to the lot or to the pre, uh, pecan. Pecan. That's the light brown with the golden, and it's starting to drizzle, so I better hurry. So as you can see, let's try to get a good outside close up here. There she is. Oh no, it's really starting to rain. Um, you can see some of the light brown in here. Like I said, you couldn't before. So I would say an outside light, the light brown does show up some. Now we've got nutmeg. Here's nutmeg. Again, such a pretty color. You can really see the red in the auburn. Can you hear the rain? Oh my goodness. The red in the auburn. Um, then we've got latte. And it looks, a, you can see a little bit of the chocolate out here in the light that you couldn't see inside when I said it was super ashy. You can see a little bit of the chocolate in there. And then obviously the golden blonde. It's still pretty ashy, but you can see it a little better out here. And now we've got the praline, super dark, super dark. And that blonde, look at that blonde, really obvious, but really, really pretty. And it's much warmer, I would say. Oh, it's starting to stop, good. Much warmer than the latte. And again, my favorite color of the bunch is this nutmeg. I'm trying to show it with a dark background. And you can really see this, the auburn and the strawberry. Let's see if I can get you guys a good, the auburn and the strawberry. So beautiful. Much more auburn outside than inside. Okay guys, it's now starting to pour. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have questions. Have a good one.